four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's just zoom in and I'll show you the chords. C chord. You can use a regular C chord. I'll talk to you about alternatives in just a second. G. D. A. E. So we go C. G. D. A, E. Those are the open position chords. You can use those. Or you could use bar chords. Hey, Joe. Where you going with that gun in your hand? Here's a C bar chord. Third fret, A shape, to a G bar chord, E shape, third fret, D bar chord, A shape, to an A bar chord, E shape, to an open E. Now you can use this E chord too with your open E string down here on the bottom. And you could use this E up on the 12th fret. Those are possible too. So let's see, let's talk about these chords and the similarities and the differences. So we'll talk about the C chord first. C, E, G, C. Now here, C, G, C, E. I really like this bar chord. Better than this one. But if you can't play the bar chord, go ahead and use that open position chord. Now this bar chord on the third fret, You'll notice that the notes are exactly the same as the open position chord that I'm using. I don't use the, the B note on the 2nd fret A string. I skip over that. I mute that with my middle finger. You get the same notes. So it sounds almost identical. The D chord here on the 5th fret and this chord here, they are almost identical. Same notes except this D chord down here has open string, has an open string, and the strings are longer so it has a, a different sound. This one has a tighter sound. Now here the A chord on the 5th fret same notes. See that? Again. And then you have the open E. Let's talk about the intro notes. Let's zoom in a little bit tighter here. What I'm doing here on these intro notes, I hear two notes. There, I hear the slide up and the open E. Something like that. So it's like three to five, back to three, and then four to two on the G string. Open, e, lop, open E string. And then it goes. Something like that. We do a little slide up to five and five on the A string and the D string. Down to four, four and four on the A and D string, and then open E. And then something like this. Something like that. Hammer on to the second fret A string. 
to the open D. I'm not sure exactly what the notes are there, but it's pretty close. Or something like that. And then we start the song. Hey Joe. So it's like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey Joe. So let's look at the right hand and see what the picking is, see what we're doing there. Something like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Also use the C chord here. Same notes. Right? Eighth fret, E shape. Like that. Nice. I'm using palm muting. So here's another level, right? Let's talk about the ending where it goes. Both the bass and the guitar do this a few times. So what we do is we play a C, eighth fret on the E string, open it up to open, one, two, three, so it's eight, oh, one, two, three, A string, two, three, four, five, E string, two, three, four, five, A string again, four, five, six, seven. Eight, oh, one, two, three, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, four, five, six, seven. So I'm using some heavy palm muting there, getting my the heel of my hand right there on the strings. Can you hear that mute and that crunch going on? Oops, wrong note. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> you went crazy there. <laughs> Thanks for being here. My name is Hal, Quail Studios Guitar. You can get my book, which has the lead sheet and some tabs in it. Just go to Patreon, subscribe star. You can sign up there. The links are in the description. You can make a donation at PayPal. I have Zelle, so we could use that too if you want. Get in touch with me, Lessons with Hal at gmail.com. And I will see you again soon on the next video. Okay?